Hello viewers, welcome back to another video on the Tripped Up channel. So at the beginning of this year, I made several goals for myself with YouTube, and one of them was to have a regular video hit 1k views. Uh, I thought it would take a little bit longer for me to hit that, but I actually hit it a long time ago. That's nice. So hey, if my most popular video is about skins, then why not make another one? But you know, a little birdie told me that I'm not original, and that's the reason I'm not getting views. So, I took a page out of his book and made a completely original video, which is, uh, it's the one you're watching right now. So yeah, this is me ranking every single scythe skin in Brawlhalla. Actually, uh, excuse me. Almost every scythe skin in Brawlhalla. I'm excluding the default skins, I have something else planned for those. Before I begin, I do want to mention that unlike my top 10 crossroads video, I will not be doing an individual ranking. I tried doing that and learned very quickly that ranking 78 different skins is a little bit impossible. Instead, this video is going to be a tier list. But don't worry, I mean, it's not like tier lists are overused or anything. <laughs> I'll be linking this aforementioned tier list in the description below if you want to try it out. Of course, I made it, so if you use it, you might want to subscribe. Two more things before we begin. One, this tier list is only based on the original look of the skin, so I'm not taking any colors into consideration. And two, this is my personal opinion. This is not fact. W well, it is, but you can disagree. It just, you'll be wrong. Alright, enough talk. Let's do it. Alright, first skin of the video. Adrenaline Rush. F tier. I don't think I have to explain. I mean, look at it. It looks like it's homemade. It's almost like you took the kid from Home Alone and told him to make a scythe. It looks so unintimidating. It doesn't look like it was made by someone who actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> Next up, Amplitude. I can see they were going with this one. It actually looks pretty nice. It has a cool little curve to it, so I'll give this one a B tier. You'll notice as we go along that the ones I don't have much to say about are like 10 seconds long, so don't worry, this won't be a 50 minute video. Alright, next up, Arched Valor. I'm gonna be honest, I did not like any of the weapons from the Season 4 Battle Pass, so I'm gonna give this one a hard D tier. The next one's the Asgardian Scythe. You know, it's pretty basic looking, but I will give it this, it's sleek, and I do appreciate sleek looking skins, so B tier. Alright, the next one's the Autumn Harvest. Oh boy, I have quite a bit to say about this one. I love the Autumn Harvest. It looks like such a good skin. It has vines, it has a lamp post. it is really cool. Which is why it pains me more than anything to say that I was not able to get it during the viewership awards. Oh well. My friend got it though, but he's a Taros main, he doesn't play Scythe. So yeah, what a waste. Anyways, easy S tier, all day. Next is the Blood Moon Influence. At level 3, this looks awesome. At level 1, this looks okay. And no one cares about level 2, because it's the middle child. Anyways, we're just going to take the sum of my entire feelings about this weapon and put B. This next one's the Blossoming Blade. Now personally, I don't have any strong feelings about this one either way. It looks okay. So as the rap community would say, it's mid. In other words, C tier. Up next is the Calling Card. Alright, I'm going to take you guys on a little trip to the past. You see, there's something I said a long time ago that applies to this exact skin. Now personally, I don't have any strong feelings about this one either way, it looks okay. So as the rap community would say, it's mid. With all that being said, C tier. The next skin is called Casey's Hockey Stick. It's a hockey stick. D tier. This one's called the Cat Scratch. You get it? Cause there's a cat on there. And that's what cats do. In all seriousness though, it is pretty nice looking, so B tier. Next up is the Cheese Stopper. While nothing really stands out about this skin, it's really clean looking. So, with that, it's a B tier. Ah yes, the Climbing Gear. This skin is an A tier skin. It has nice ice bits, and also it has cool colors. Remember this, because there's a skin later on that has similar appearance that I have not so fond opinions on. Next on the list is the Constellation Carver. You know, I do have to hand it to them. This is the only scythe skin I know of that has parts that are detached to the main body of the skin. So, you know what? B tier. The next one's called... The Crossfader? Uh... BMG, I think we have to have a talk about the name of this skin. 
Personally, I don't actually like this skin. There's too much going on. I like the concept, but I think the execution was not really well pulled off. D tier. Next up is one of the most recent skins, the Cygnus? Cygnus? Uh, something like that. Same thing applies from the Blood Moon influence. It looks really good at level 3, not so good at level 1, and no one cares about level 2. I do prefer the Blood Moon over this, and that's why I'm putting this one at B tier. Next is the Dark Heart Scythe. The colors are okay, but nothing really stands out on the skin, so this is gonna be a C tier. Next is the Death Touch. Um, Death Touch? The only thing dying is my dopamine levels. Look at this, this is probably the most generic looking scythe skin you've ever seen. That being said, it doesn't offend me like the adrenaline rush, so this will go in E tier. Next is the digital lockdown. I'll be honest here, it doesn't even look like a scythe. It looks like a deformed hammer. With that being said, it's not the worst thing I've seen, so we'll give it a D tier. The next skin is called Eternity. And I have to say, it's really nice. It has nice colors, and the design looks pretty sleek, so we'll give it an A tier. The next one's called Eye of Horus. Oh shoot, I probably can't say that. Uh, here's the word. I'll just censor it out. Thanks, BMG. You know what, just for that, I was gonna give it an A tier, but we're bumming it down to B tier. Oh boy, I know how this one's going. Alright, next is the Fettered Rage. If you don't know, this is for the Fenrir Mordex. And, uh, it's not that good looking. Oh, I know, I know, the unsubscribe button is being hit rapidly right now, but trust me, it's not that good. It just has some rust on it, a couple chains. That's not that cool. You're really gonna tell me this is preferable over this? You're crazy. We'll just give it a C tier and move on. Next up is the Fiendish Slice. Uh, the skin's good, but I don't- that name, man, I- if, why? Fiendish Slice? Is that really the best you could come up with? Yeah, just for that, uh, C tier. The next one up is called Frostfang, because it's made of ice. And I love that. I love that concept. I love how it's pulled off. A tier. Moving on to the Fusion Blade. I used to like the Fusion Blade a lot. Not anymore. I think now it looks like one of those cheap plastic toys you buy at Walmart for $15 that has way too many names, like the Fusion Blaster XZ Premium, you know, or something stupid like that. Anyway, C tier. Next up is the Glory Ha- Are you serious, BMG? No, dog. you cannot tell me they don't know what they're doing with these names. That's not okay. That's not okay. Anyway, the uh, Glory Hound is a pretty good looking skin. It's shaped like a wolf, which is cool, because, you know, hound. I'd give it a B tier. Alright, we're moving on to the Goalie Stick. Once again, just like that other skin from earlier, it's a hockey stick. D tier. Alright, moving on to the Golden Light. Uh, Golden Light? Yeah, more like Golden Knockoff. This actually looks like the Great Value version of the Goldforge Scythe. Yeah, you're getting a D tier, buddy. Stop trying to copy other skins. And hey, that's a flawless segue into the Goldforge Scythe. Yeah, if you see this Scythe, it's probably gonna be a rough match. But the skin itself looks really cool, so we'll give it an A tier. Moving on to the Haunted Hook. Uh, honestly, there's nothing haunted about this. It looks pretty plain. E tier. Next one's called the Heartbleed. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just intended to be like an upgrade to the Dark Heart. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Does that mean that I'm going to put it at B tier rather than C? Nope, C tier. And immediately following the Heartbleed is the Heart Throb. And it's also getting a C. Uh, it, there's nothing really that special about it. It just has a heart on it, which makes sense because it's called the Heart Throb. Alright, next up is Hotline Miami. Uh, Hotline Slash. I love this skin. It's got a really cool animation, and it's actually a huge scythe in itself, which is great because bigger is better. That's, that's what I've been told anyway. Hoo <laughs> here it is. The Ice Pick. Remember when I was talking about the climbing gear earlier, and I said there was a skin just like this one that was going to tear to shreds? Yep, this is this one. I don't know why people like it. It's not good. It is literally the climbing gear, just way worse. E tier, get out of my face. Alright, hopefully the next one doesn't make me as mad. <sighs> why do I say things anymore? In sickness. Yes, that is correct. I'm in sickness having to look at this thing. It is ugly, just like the rest of the skin. Look at this! <laughs> It's hideous! I love Mirage. I do not love this. 
Just like the last skin, we're throwing this in the E tier. Goodbye. Alright, next one's called Into the Abyss. Uh, yeah, I have nothing to say about this one. D tier. Alright, moving on to the Jade Scythe. Now, I don't see very many people using this one, but I love the Jade Scythe. It is very underrated. I put it at S tier. The colors are cool. It's pretty big as well. I mean, come on. There's nothing that you can hate about this one. The next one's called Jaws of the Oni. It, it just... This is so plain. It's so boring. F tier. Next up, the Keytar Slash. <laughs> you get it, guys? You get it? Yeah, you're laughing. Keytar, guitar... Yeah, it's... Oh my god, I hate everything. I like what this one's going for, but it still doesn't look all too great, so C tier. Alright, this one's called Knowledge is Key. Quite the funky name. Uh, honestly, we're just gonna go with C tier on this one as well. I don't have any feelings on it, either way. Up next is Laplace's Demon. Uh, I don't know who Laplace is, but you're pretty weak if this is your demon. It doesn't even look that scary. The skin itself, though? Eh, not too bad. I put it at B tier. Alright, the next one's called Leash of Souls. Uh, doesn't look like a leash, to be honest with you. It just looks like a generic skin. Definitely gonna go with C tier here. Moving on to the Lethal Edge. Originally, I was gonna put this at B tier, but... I just can't bring myself to do it. I don't see anything that I actually like about it, other than it being sleek, but... I already put too many skins in B tier just for being sleek, so... I'm just gonna put this one in C tier. Next up is the Lockpick. Listen, I don't know what statement you're trying to make if you say you like this, but all I'm saying is... You're blind. This is horrible. This is ugly. It looks like a rusty toothpick. I don't even know that's possible, because toothpicks are made out of wood, but somehow it still looks like a rusty toothpick. And therefore, it's getting an F tier. Be gone. <sighs> Alright, on a more positive note, up next we have Marks the Spot. A long time ago, I didn't think the colors worked at all, but now that my eyes have matured, I can see that the colors work perfectly. Plus, the skull works really well with the skin. Unlike other skins that use skulls. <clears throat> Alright, moving on to the Nevermore. Just the name itself implies that this is a great skin, but come on, how could you not like this? It's a Dark Raven. Yeah, not much more to be said there, S tier. Alright, next up is the Oni Bite. I see what they were going for, but it's not that good. We'll just stick it in C tier. Next up is the Prenumbal Crescent. Uh, the what? Listen, I'm not an astrophysicist, it's this word, okay? Let's be honest here, everyone has this scythe skin. I can see why, it's a really good skin, but it is way overused. That man's an imposter! That man is the imposter! In fact, even I use it, so that's how you know. We'll just give this one an A tier. It would be S, but it's definitely overused. Alright, the next one is the Raven's Talon. I mean, how much more default could you get? This is literally what I think of when I think default skin. Now, of course, it's not offensive or anything, so we'll just put it at C tier. Bringing back some nostalgic memories, we got the Razor's Reach. And hey, it's the first Scythe skin I ever got. I got it with Freestyle Mirage. And yeah, it's a good skin. It's got a nice design, and it's got a good pattern to it, so we'll give it a B tier. Alright, next up is the Reaping Time. I know it's supposed to be, like, the Scarecrow's Scythe or whatever, but it does not look good. Granted, it does have a little bit of charm to it, a little bit of personality, unlike the other dead-looking ones below it, so we'll give it an E tier. Alright, next one up is Rhapsody's Edge. I hope I said that right. Um, it's another music one, so it's not bad, but it doesn't have anything standing out. I'm gonna put this one on a D tier. Uh-oh. I know what's next. Alright, let's just get this over with. Scarab's Bane. The only thing that this skin is the bane of is my existence. This is easily the worst scythe skin out of all of them. Look how ugly the colors are. That is like some weird cheese color. I don't know why I said that, but you understand what I mean. It is ugly. Excuse me, sir. I hope my horrible ugliness won't be a distraction to you. Not at all, boy! <laughs> Please never show me this again. I never want to bring up anything related to Scarabus Bane again. F tier, F tier, anything below F tier. Just, just get it out of here. <sighs> Man, what a great way to kick off skins that start with the letter S. And don't worry, 
because it's a long list. Alright, next up is the Scareware. It looks pretty cool, but honestly, it looks more like a pickaxe rather than a scythe, which is why I'm going to give it a C tier. Otherwise, it would have been B, so good effort. Alright, coming up, the Scavenger's Spoils. Um, why does it have that little curve? I don't know about you guys, but I hate that. Absolutely hate that little curve it has, that little bump. It ruins the entire skin, completely invalidates any other feelings I might have had about it. E tier, let's move on. Well, I say that, but honestly the next one's not too much better, which is the Scrapped Mouser. I don't get why it had to be an acronym. I wonder what it stands for. Probably stands for Most Overly Unusual Scythe Ever Rated. Anyways, like that name implied, it's pretty unusual looking. So, we'll give it a D tier. Moving on, we got the Scythe of Torment. Man, you'd really expect something more intimidating than this. Yeah, just because of the overhyped name, we're gonna give this a D tier. Next on the list is the Searing Blade. I like the concept, it looks like the end of the scythe is really hot and that'll burn you, which is extra damage, except it's just a skin. Or is it? No way guys, we leaked the new feature of Brahalla. Anyways, we're gonna give this one a B tier. Moving on to Seraph's Message. Do you want to know what Seraph's Message is? Oh boy, that was a really good message. You should probably listen to it. Just because of that, uh, B tier. Alright, next up is the Shark Bite. Oh boy, they got creative here. You see, it's called Shark Bite because there's a bite out of the board that makes the scythe. And it's implying that a shark did it. Therefore, shark bite. I thought that was a real knee slapper right there. In all seriousness though, it's a pretty good looking skin. I like the colors. We'll give it a B tier. Alright, this next one's called the Singularity Sickle. You know what? It's a cool looking skin. It has the galaxy theme, just like the Season 5 Battle Pass. And it has a cool little design to it. You know, it's shaped a little bit differently. So, definitely gonna give this one a B tier. Alright, we're hitting a lot of B tiers. We gotta switch things up. Uh, ooh, the Skyforge Scythe. The Skyforge Scythe is actually more intimidating than the Goldforge, in my opinion, just because of the Skyforge Fender Mordexes that hog this weapon. That being said, I still love it, so we're gonna give it an A tier. Up next, the Spinal Sickle. You know in movies how they have a desert scene sometimes, and then there's like the skull of a dead animal sitting there? Yeah, it's like they took all the colors from that and then just slapped it onto a skin and called it the Spinal Sickle. In other words, it's bad. We're gonna give this one an E tier. Next up is the Stargleam Scythe. Once again, just like the Scareware, I really liked it, but it looks more like a pickaxe. So, I can't really give it much more than a C. The next one's called the Starship Slice. Oh, another one with the name Slice. Great. Well, this one's not much better than the last one. In fact, this one's horrible. This is for the Fate skin for the Season 5 Battle Pass, and I already called that one ugly. The whole color scheme looks so washed out, and nothing looks appealing about it. It's just this weird bronze and also this ugly purple. Yeah, definite F tier. Get this out of my sight. Moving on to the Stringed Scavenger. I can see what it was going for. I can agree it's unique, but not in a good way. I actually don't like it too much. We're gonna give this one a D tier. And that right there was the final of the 14 Scythe skins that start with the letter S. Why are there so many? Anyways, next up is the Tamed Beast. I like the design, but I find it kind of unappealing, so we're gonna have to see tier. Next up is the Closer, and honestly, I feel the exact same way with this one as the Tamed Beast. It has a cool design, but it's unappealing. C tier. Up next is the Pale Horse. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this one. Definite S tier. I mean, come on, it was the first animated scythe. It's got this cool animation with the blue fire, which I love blue fire, and it looks cool overall. Plus, the skin it pairs with is perfectly matched. I swear, I'm not biased because it's a Mirage skin. Just please, trust me on that one. Alright, moving on to the signature. It kind of looks like a hippie made it, to be honest with you. And hippies are kind of weird. No offense. D tier. Next up is the Thresher. Remember earlier how I said the Raven's Talon was kind of like the default skin? Yeah, well this one's also the default skin if it was 10 times worse. Literally, you take a stick, you take some curvy metal, glue it together, and you got the Thresher. Solid F tier. The next one's called the Throttle. You know what, I see what it's going for and I think it 
pulls it off pretty well. It's kind of like an engine, or like a race car kind of thing, and I respect that. I'm gonna give this a good, respectable B tier. Next up is the Tropic Breeze. Here's some tripped up trivia right here. Did you know that I live in Florida? So palm trees are a pretty regular occurrence for me, which is why I like this even more. It's got the palm tree plus the coconuts. It's a great skin, goes with the Dog Days Mordex, which is also a great skin in itself. Not much more to say here other than A tier. Alright, up next is the Eurus's Fang. Yeah, there's nothing I can say about it that stands out. It's got a serpent, but that's... that's it. C tier. Next is the Valorous Charge. You cannot look at this and tell me it's not a reference to the Broncos. It looks exactly like it. Well, I guess not the colors, but the design does. Anyways, I think it looks really cool and unique, so we're gonna give it a B tier. Moving along to the Vanquisher. What a generic name for a very plain generic scythe skin. It's like a distant cousin to the Spinal Sickle. In other words, it's not good. We'll be nice, let's give it an E tier. Whew, okay, moving to the final three, we got the Winter's Grave. On first glance, it probably doesn't look like a wintry type of skin, but it actually is. It's got the mistletoe, and it does have that kind of atmosphere to it that encompasses winter. And you know what? I really appreciate that. So much so that I'm putting this at A tier. Up next is Wrath's Sickle. Uh, it's got this face. Other than that, C tier. And finally... Number 78 out of 78, the final scythe skin, Wrath of Hell. It sucks, E tier. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I know, this is much longer than anything I've ever posted, but I did want to experiment and see what a longer video did, so let me know in the comments down below, do you prefer the shorter videos or the longer videos? That'll help me determine later on. Anyways, this took a long time to go through, so if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. Anyways, I'm out of here.